this video, we're going to be talking about balancing the demands of life with your personal needs and maintaining overall well being and happiness. I'm going to mention a few strategies to help you prioritize self care and prevent the busyness of life just taking over. Um, yeah, let's just get started. <laughs> I am Rochelle Strauss. I am a life coach and a health coach, and you can reach me at info at coachred1.com. Be sure and subscribe to my channel and like this video. Let's get started. The first thing that you have to do is set clear boundaries. Now, all of this is about yourself. Set clear boundaries with yourself. Establish boundaries between your personal and your professional life and determine specific times when you'll focus on work and when you'll dedicate time to yourself and your loved ones. Stick to these boundaries as much as possible to avoid burnout. Number two, prioritize self-care. This is a buzzword. Everybody's talking about self-care. It could be anything to anyone. Prioritize self-care. Make it a priority by scheduling on your calendar regular time for activities that nourish your mind, body, and soul. This could include exercise, meditation, hobbies, spending time with loved ones, or just relaxing, reading a good book, and doing nothing very important. Number three, practice time management. Use effective time management techniques that work for you to maximize your productivity and minimize wasted time. Prioritize tasks based on importance and urgency and delegate when possible and avoid overcommitting yourself to avoid feeling overwhelmed. This is a good one. You ready? Learn to say no. Don't be afraid to say no to additional commitments or requests that don't align with your priorities or values. Saying no is essential for protecting your time and energy for the things that truly matter to you. I have a friend that has a baby, four months old, five months old, six months old, I don't even know. She has a full business that she runs and she just told me, I don't, I go to an event that I have to go to, a meeting that I have to go to, I run back home to be with my child. That's a boundary. That's saying no. She doesn't go out with her friends right now. She doesn't hang out, do things that are not essential. She just says no, and nobody says anything about it. It's her choice. Delegate and ask for help. That's number five. Don't try to do everything on your own. You are not superwoman, you are not superman. Delegate tasks to others when it's possible. And hopefully they have boundaries and they say no if they can't do it, so they don't. Get, let, leave you with it. So just delegate to people who are responsible. There's the answer to that. Set realistic goals. And this is something that a coach can help you with, definitely. Set realistic and achievable goals for yourself, both personally and professionally. Break larger goals into smaller, manageable tasks and celebrate your wins. Number seven, practice mindfulness. Incorporate mindfulness practices into your daily routine to stay grounded and present in the moment. Mindfulness, me mindfulness meditation, deep breathing exercises, or simply just taking short breaks to center yourself, to ground yourself. There are many, many options out there for mindfulness. Limit your screen time. Set boundaries for yourself around using technology and social media, and that'll prevent them from consuming too much of your time and attention, and you won't get stuck going down that rabbit hole, and then, oh my God, all these hours have passed and I didn't do the things that I need to do for work. That's how you manage that. Set, uh, secondarily, prioritize face-to-face -face interactions less so on social media, more so face-to-face more so -face interactions with, with people. It's better for your mental health. Number nine, evaluate your priorities regularly. Take time to reflect on your values, your goals, and priorities. 
on a regular basis. I go through this with my clients sometimes to figure out what their values and their passions are. It really helps to bounce that off of someone else. Assess whether your current commitments align with your priorities and make adjustments as you need to. Number 10, seek support and connection. Surround yourself with supportive friends, family members, mentors who can offer encouragement and guidance and perspective during busy or challenging times. Don't hesitate to reach out for help when you need it. For those of you who think that's weakness, it's strength in knowing when you need support. I'm Coach Red and I'm here to support you when you need it. I also want to hear what you thought about this video and try implementing these strategies that I've mentioned. I've mentioned 10 and make self-care a priority. Comment in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Head over to coachred1.com where we have free resources and blog posts that will help you and your family's journey and your health. Be sure to like this video, share it with others who might like this video, and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a video from Coach Red.